I'm Mimi Ito and I'm an anthropologist at the University of Southern California and I've been involved for the past three years on a project with the MacArthur Foundation uh, that's looking at what young people are doing with digital technology from a sort of an anthropological, ethnographic, youth-centered perspective. One of the things that I thought was really interesting about the applications was the fact that it was really drawing from a very diverse range of different domains. So I think it really was evidence of the fact that digital media and learning issues around digital media are becoming very pervasive across a wide variety of fields and institutions. So um, that was one of the things that really impressed me about reviewing the work is that this particular set of topics is touching a lot more people than uh, what we saw even five years ago, I think. So one of the things that I was looking for when I was going through the proposals were proposals that were really proposing innovative new solutions to how to leverage the um, contemporary media environment, so the convergence of low-cost digital production tools that you know many more people can have access to, and the sort of distributed peer-to-peer -peer architecture of the internet. So the kinds of projects that I was really uh, interested in and attracted to were projects that were really taking uh, the sort of many-to-many -many architecture of the internet and leveraging that to do new kinds of knowledge networking. So I think that what we saw were some applications that were very innovative in how they were bringing voices from marginal communities or groups who wouldn't have otherwise had access to a lot of knowledge networking resources or to um, develop new t kinds of tools for these kinds of groups. Um, that there was tremendous opportunity for this sort of more lateral, peer-based learning mechanic that wasn't necessarily being filtered, produced, and disseminated by centralized learning organizations. Well, one of the great things about doing a competition like this where we got such a wide range of applications was that it really enriched our understanding of the field and the different kinds of experiments that people were doing in areas that um, even those of us who have been working in this area for many, many years were unaware of. So it helped our learning, those of us uh, who have been working uh, in academic institutions and with uh, the MacArthur Foundation Initiative specifically in understanding just how broad this area of inquiry really is. So there's learning for us. Um, and then I, the other piece is that by broadening the network of people who are connected with this initiative at the foundation, I think that there will be a lot more uh, networking between the grantees uh, that will result in a lot of sort of unexpected outcomes of um, developing a real community around these kinds of issues.